Hi, everybody. I'm Danny Dancer. I'm the Kidtropolis educator here at Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center. And I'm very excited to present today's Educator Moment, which is part of our National Engineering Wonder Week, sponsored by Fleur. Today, I am actually going to show you how you can engineer a three-dimensional work of art using a two-dimensional piece of paper. I'm going to show you how to do a technique which is called paper quilling, where you take very, very long, thin strips of paper and you fold and curl them into different shapes to create a really awesome, unique work of art. For this activity, you'll need a half sheet of paper or cardstock, thin strips of colorful paper, and you only need your strips to be about a half an inch wide. Something that you can wrap your paper around. Chopsticks work really well, or if you want to do a super detailed paper quilling piece of artwork, you can use toothpicks and some craft glue. You can use school glue or even a glue stick, but craft glue holds the quickest. The basic technique for paper quilling involves taking one of those long strips of paper and just winding it around a thin stick. So in this case, I'm using one of those chopsticks and I'm just gonna roll it up all the way to the end. Just like this. I can slide it off the end and one way I can attach it to my piece of cardstock is by just putting a little craft glue in the middle. And then I can either keep it nice and tight like this, or if I want, I can let it loosen up just a little bit before I set it on my glue. And then if you're using craft glue, you just have to hold it in place for maybe 10 seconds. If you're using something like a glue stick or, or school glue, I'd hold it a little longer, maybe 30 seconds. When you let go, it should hold in place. If you want to make something like a flower petal, start off the same way. Take one long strip of colorful paper and twist it around your chopstick. When you get towards the end with about two inches left, fold it in half to make a crease and then fold a small crease right towards the end to make a little tab. Add some glue to that tab and attach it to the outside of your petal. Hold it in place for five or 10 seconds. Then gently slide it off of your chopstick let a little bit of that coil go just to get a little bit more effect. And there's your petal. If you want, you can loosen your petal just a little bit more before you glue it onto your paper. To make something like a vine, start off at one end just the way we have so far, twisting it around your chopstick until you get to about halfway then flip it over, take a second chopstick, and twist the other half of your paper in the opposite direction. Once the two ends meet, gently slide them off of your craft sticks or your, your chopsticks. Mark the place on your paper and gently let go of some of that coil before holding it in place on your glue. One last technique I'll show you today. If you don't want to quill your paper at all or curl it at all, you can just create a border or a straight line by marking your glue line on your paper and holding it in place. For my last detail, I added a little leaf, which is just the same as how we started with making one tight coil and then pinching off one end to give it that leafy look. And this is what my final artwork looks like. Now, of course, you can design 
anything that you'd like. If you want to do flowers, you can create animals, you could even create an entire scene, or even try to paper quill like a word or a name onto your artwork. It's totally up to you. You are the designer. You can engineer anything you like. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us for today's Educator Moment, sponsored by Floor. And we hope you continue to join us this entire week for our National Engineering Wonder Week. In the meantime, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can check out more of our great videos here at Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you all soon. Bye.